well, let's just jump right into this grocery haul. I'll go through everything. This is from all from Walmart this time. Um, that is my go-to for groceries. Occasionally, I'll run through another small grocery store to just grab odds and ends. And if they have something on sale that's really good price, then I'll run through another store. But Walmart is my go-to. I almost always do grocery delivery. And I typically do just fine. I've only ever had a few orders that did not arrive when they were supposed to. So anyway, let's just jump right in. So I got these rice cakes. We have been loving snacking on these. I buy probably one a week of those. And we eat them as sort of like nighttime snacks or just whatever throughout the day. I like to put peanut butter on them as well because it's just another vessel to get peanut butter into my body. Um, <laughs> can't go wrong with that. Pepperoni. So I got a few things. I've been seeing somebody do these low carb kind of pizza bowls. So I'll start here with that. And so I got the cottage cheese for that. It's cottage cheese and then some pizza sauce or marinara, whatever you like, it doesn't really matter. And then some pepperoni goes on those as well and some shredded cheese. So that's probably not the shredded cheese that I'll use for those, but like mozzarella is fine or whatever you like. Um, and then you heat it up so you can put it in your air fryer or your microwave or whatever just to heat it up and it's supposed to be pretty good for kind of a low carb protein um, meal or snack or whatever. So I wanted to try that. That's why I got a few of these different things. Um, over here is more so of the cold stuff, so we'll go this way. This is that chicken uh, rice and vegetables. I like this one, I just do. It's not like fake flavored chicken flavor, so it doesn't have a huge flavor to it, which is kind of nice because it's not like some of the other flavored ones. This is a rice and cheese sauce, like a broccoli and cheese. So it's a nice side as well. Corn, we always love corn. I just put it with whatever we're having. Especially like I put it with a lot I put it with a lot of different things. So Mexican stuff or or not. Um, whatever it is. This is some pre-cooked ribs and I don't know why I bought those, but they just were speaking to me. So I said, yeah, let's get them and, and try them out. So we'll have them one night soon. I'll probably just put those into the fridge. It says you can freeze them though. So this is, have y'all seen this brand at your Walmart? This is a new higher end brand. It's supposed to be better, I don't know, better quality stuff. We'll see about that. Why is it supposed to be better quality? I'm really not sure. Something like this. Well, this is a gluten-free. I mean, everything, all cheeses are gluten-free or should be. Uh, but some different options. This is gluten-free chicken tenders, which I just want to have those on hand. Sometimes I just want easy food that I can eat without having to be worried about or think about. There is a... Um, a meal video that I just recently did and I did a stir fry in it and I used some sauce, Korean barbecue sauce, I think it is. And I had eaten that a couple of times. I didn't really think I had any trouble with it, but then I ate it this last time and I did have trouble with it. So I'm still trying to be careful about things that I can eat and cannot eat on my new kind of gluten-free journey. Um, and it's not that I'm allergic to wheat or anything, but it makes me feel bad. It makes me feel bad. And it's not just um, right at the time of the meal, it kind of lasts for several days of feeling bad. And I know that I've eaten something that did not agree with me. So it's more so just avoiding the things that make me feel that way and, um, having things on hand that I know are kind of like safe and will not make me feel badly is good. So here I got, this is pre-cooked chicken strips. I'm really trying recently to up my protein. So I have to get some kind of simple proteins that I can add to things like salads and snacks and all that stuff. And this is one of those things. So hopefully this is going to be good. And hopefully it's not just like weird chicken pressed together. Like some of the things that I've gotten in the past. So I'm going to try it. That's the first time that I've bought this. Caesar salad. This is the best salad in my opinion. I'd have to take the croutons out at this point. But I still like the dressing so much that it's worth it. Uh, those are my favorite chips. The Tostitos tortilla chips. Santitas for a while was my favorite. But they are so thick at this point. I feel like they're thicker than they should be. So, okay, Sunflower Bacon Crunch. This is probably one of our favorite chopped salads along with that um, Asian Thai. No, Asian one, I think, is the other favorite. Some carrots just because we were, well, I think we're out of these at this point. Celery because we were low on that. 
and I like to have it on hand at all times, at all times. I have a fly in here too, which is not unusual uh, at all. Broccoli, and then this one is the medley because I like the cauliflower in it, and um, Alan really doesn't like cauliflower, so I kind of mix the two together and pull a few pieces of cauliflower out of this one for, for our side. Mini cucumbers, I have been going through these like crazy. My garden cucumbers are completely done and I've used them all, I've pickled them all, I've done whatever to them all. But these mini ones are delicious and I have been doing that Asian cucumbers. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I shared the recipe for that in my last What We Eat in a Week video. So go over there and check that out. They're so good, you're gonna love those. So um, I make that a couple of times a week for those those uh, cucumbers. They're so fresh and crisp too. Okay, just some spaghetti sauce basically, pasta sauce. I have sauces on my shelf in there, like a meat sauce, but sometimes you just want something that's simple. You can like, I can use those in a million different ways. If I want to use that as a pizza sauce, I use it as a pizza sauce. If I want to use it as pasta sauce, I use it that way and, and more essentially. Um, this gluten-free pancake mix is one, I probably bought this this is probably my third time buying that. We really like it, it turns out great. I've also added bananas to it to make like a banana pancake. I've added sweet potato to it to make sweet potato pancake. It's good. It's just a nice base and you can do what you want with it. This, okay, um, this is that triple zero, no sugar, what is this one? So this is a vanilla triple zero yogurt and it's like a Greek yogurt, non-fat, but it's got high protein, so it's 17 grams of protein per serving, no added sugar, no artificial sweeteners, none of that stuff. So I don't necessarily care about that, but I like it because it's the high protein and also because it is um, Greek yogurt. It's a little bit more digestible than regular yogurts to me. Well, a lot more digestible. I don't have any trouble with this one. So I've been using this to make yogurt parfaits in the morning. I go ahead and prep about three days in advance of yogurt parfaits. So I take this yogurt and I use a small um, mason jar and I put in a little bit of yogurt in the bottom and then I add some fig sauce that I made. It's just figs, sugar, lemon, no orange juice and water. I did that on the stove because we had figs coming in like crazy for a few weeks. So I decided to make some sauce. I've been adding it to this yogurt and it's so good. And then I also add about two tablespoons of this granola because I really have to have some crunch in my yogurt parfaits. I can't just do the straight up um, yogurt because it's just like the. So I like to add the this um, granola to it as well. And this is a protein granola. It does not upset my stomach. It doesn't make me feel yucky or bloated or anything. Some protein things do, that's what I'm telling you. Um, some protein things, it makes my stomach like, no, I'm very unhappy. So anyway, I do my yogurt par parfaits in the morning. That gives me a really easy breakfast. And then um, I'm kind of set on protein for that meal. So that's good. This is just dried cranberries. I love these. I've been buying them probably once a month and we really are, um, well, I say we, I'm the only one that eats some, but I love to have them. <laughs> I really love to have them. These are um, perfect bars, and I have bought these maybe one other time before, but I just sometimes need something to have an easy, easy grab thing. And with when you're gluten-free, it's like so hard to find a bar or something like that that is not just really weird and yucky. I've tried several at this point and these are pretty good. I like to, I think they have to be refrigerated. I keep them in the refrigerator because I'm pretty sure I bought them in the refrigerated section one other time. Yeah, store in the fridge or freezer. So that's what I do. These are for Alan, he loves these, especially this coconut flavor of the Belvedas. I miss eating these because they're so good and crunchy, but I don't eat those anymore, sadly. This is some all-purpose gluten-free flour, and I have tried other brands, and I still use other brands. This week, in fact, I tried to make a gluten-free bread, yeast bread, with Bob's Red Mill gluten-free flour, and it did not work. I'll just tell you that flat out. It did not work at all. It was so dense and so gummy and so bad. Um, that's why I don't even try sometimes, but 
I was reading the recipe reviews and notes and stuff and a lot of people say that Bob's Red Mill is not recommended at all for trying to do yeast things. So I'm gonna try this one. This is just the store brand one and it has a recipe on here for yeast dinner rolls. So maybe it works better with yeast. So we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Still getting used to the gluten-free baking. Desserts and treats and things are pretty easy, but yeast anything, no, 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 no. Give it up. This is my favorite salsa that is not my own. This is the Mateo's and I buy it from time to time even though I've got jars and jars of salsa in there on the shelf. This one is just so good. I wish I could duplicate it, but it's good. Um, peach yogurt, this one's Alan's favorite. So there's that cottage cheese. And then as I said, the pizza sauce for that, those bowls. This is that ready rice and I've really enjoyed this one, the cilantro lime one. So anytime we do anything that's like Mexican or that pulled pork that I made a while ago that was like had peppers and onions and all of that in it. Um, it's really good with that rice as well. So this is the last thing here and this is very fishy. I will tell you that these are some different, I was looking for a gluten-free tortilla. So I just threw these in the cart and I said, well, I'm going to give them a try because that's what I'm doing right now. Just trial and error everything. When I got them, do you see this? They are legitimately open. So <laughs> I was like, at first I thought, no, they're not open. I just thought it was just a little rippy, a little rippy in the thing. No, no, no. I opened them up and I counted what was inside. It's four tortillas inside. Guess how many supposed to be in here? Five. What if somebody need a snack? I don't understand. Maybe they wanted to try them too. So they just went in and got one. Um, so I will be contacting Walmart about that and get my money back for that because what the heck, man? Don't 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 sample my tortillas, you know? I'm going to throw those away, too, because who knows what has happened to them in the time that they've been open. But I was really hoping to try them, although now that I have them here and I get a sniff of them, I don't know. I probably won't try them again because they do not even smell very good at all. So oh, that's the way it is trying new foods with the gluten-free and all of that. Some things just are, there's just not a replacement. There's really not. So you have to just make the best of what you can. Well, I appreciate you being here today. I wanted to just share this quick grocery haul with you and run through what I got this week. Now you didn't see any meats, mostly no meats or anything, no fresh meats in there this week because I just don't really need any right now. I did that freezer prep day. Um, I did that freezer prep day and also have lots of other things still in the freezers. So I've just been pulling from all that when I wanna make something up for dinner or whatnot. I still have plenty to pull from. Just thought it would be fun to share this grocery haul with you today. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you back here again real soon.